Okay, we've got a brand new setup and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. We've changed things up. I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel where I talk about IRL streaming. A lot of it's really outdated. So I really wanted to take this time to go over all the new gear that I've got. Firstly, two phones. One which is my streaming phone, which is what you guys can see me on. The other one which is my second phone, which I've now got just positioned below the camera. So I can look down here and I can read the chat, which frees up my hands. If you guys have seen me before you know I'd put my second phone in my pocket then I have to pull it out it slows things down on the streaming phone we have IRL Pro which is only available on Android it's not currently available for iOS or iPhones so I couldn't use that app with the iPhone here on the second phone we have IRL chat it's only available on Android so we've got two applications now for streaming that are only available on Android the only thing I can have on here Lyrics Broadcaster there's a few extra features I like in IRL Pro the core engine is the same as Lyrics Broadcaster but does have a few tweaks a few additions that I quite like we've got JJ Abram happening here is that bothering you guys I don't know about this I feel like I'm in Star Trek yeah, so back on the office, we have the Windows computer, OBS, we've got StreamerBot, which is handling all the redemptions and things. The third piece of the puzzle is called Loopy SRT, and that's what handles going to BRB. I've set it up for multi-camera connections. I'm thinking because we're using Wi-Fi on this and not a SIM card directly inside the iPhone, it won't be as good. It could be choppy and all that sort of stuff. But let's find out. Here is our new phone, it's our new streaming camera, it is the Samsung Galaxy Flip. Down here we've got the second phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S9. We've got it on a little tripod here, this extends to about four foot. We have the magnetic mount on here, so I can press a button on the side, press twist, and then I can detach the main phone pop it on my chest mount so I can do like a quick change from one thing to the other we have the Rode Wireless Me receiver here connected via USB now what I might do is get a little adapter so that I can connect power and also audio here use the 3.5 millimeter jack and plug that from here into the little adapter 3.5 millimeter then this cable here the USB I can use to get this charged for a longer stream we've got a couple of clamps so these are bits and bobs I bought from all over we have one for second phone then we've got this other one for battery we've got cables that support fast charging this battery also supports fast charging so we've got two of them one of them is just a regular USB-C the other one has a little adapter on it yeah so we've got well micro USB we've got lightning and under here is USB-C so let's say if I needed to charge something else like the iPhone then I could just plug that into here this one and then charge up the iPhone I'm thinking if the weather starts getting bad then I can always turn this upside down so the water is not going right into the, the battery basically I can compact it all down pull the legs up and hold it like this so that would be the one-handed setup we've got battery life we've got reading chat down here and we'll turn this back on again so this is what I mentioned earlier so we've got these browser sources and you can just link it to any kind of HTML the first one I have is for uh, my stream deck so rather than what I did before where I have to type in a command and now all I have to do is just press a button so whatever you've got within your streamer bot software just put it onto the stream deck and this is all part of streamer bot next one here is quick actions and this is like if I was going to raid someone and I can click on I think that's the raid button so it just shows me who I'm following that I can raid and all you have to do is just copy the URL from the Twitch dashboard and then you can add it as a like a browser thingy in IRL chat. This makes raiding someone uh, a lot easier than trying to type that into the little chat thing here. So forward slash raid and then type in the person's name. So here all you have to do is just really click a name and then you can start the raid to someone else. So that's uh, something that I don't think I've mentioned. Oh, thank you Ray. 
I've got Twitch, and this is so I can preview what's happening. I'll be using that a lot because what I plan to do with this phone is to have it in that clamshell mode, uh, which means I won't be able to see what's on the screen, won't be able to switch it to ultra wide, wide, selfie camera and everything. Uh, it'll just be a lot more compact, I think. And then we've got activity, so then that tells us what's happening. And I think in my YouTube videos, having to exit out of IRL chat, this, this one section here, to be able to keep everything within this one single app. But yeah, that is like a, a blessing. You can end the stream, start a stream at the press of the button. You've got to be very careful with this button though, for ending the stream. I contemplated having it so that that it was a command that you type in because I did hand this phone to someone and then they accidentally pressed that button. We've got a preview to see what's happening with the stream. So I think I'll have that one on quite quite a lot so I can see what's happening. And then we've got the activity which I showed you. And yeah, you could just keep going, keep adding things and then you can turn them on and off in the settings. If I was just doing IRL, this would be fine. As an IRL photographer, I kind of need both hands to take a photo for like to get that steady shot, especially in low light like what we've got now, you know? But uh, yes, I have the Go Quick 2 magnetic mount system from your Lanzi. I did have a separate thing from them called the GP4. The only difference with this system is it's got a little button here so it helps keep everything a bit more secure than what the previous one had. Also, there's a lot more accessories for this mount versus the old one. And what I like about this one in particular is this is built into the tripod. I've also got this little mini tripod. So let's say I'm in a smaller space and I don't have enough room for this. Or let's say I'm in a mall or something and they really don't like this kind of stuff, you know? They see this and they say, excuse me sir, get the security on you. The cruise ship is leaving. Hi cruise ship. We've got three phones. So the Galaxy Flip, Galaxy S9 and iPhone here. Two SIM cards. We've got one SIM card in here and we've got one SIM card in the other one. Yeah, so yeah. we've got it we've all got folded, folded up, up like, like this. this. That's what, That's it, what looks it looks like. like. Uh, it looks okay. Actually, I think this is wider than my iPhone. I'm holding this in the second arm like that. So I don't know how good this is. But I want a way of being able to put this down. That's how I've got it just sitting in the top. It looks a bit weird. How's our stabilization? This phone is supposed to have two forms of stabilization, both virtual, software based, and optical. So it'll be interesting to see if it's any better. Hi though, we should do a random topic while we're at it. On my little stream deck, click the topic button, see what that says. Ooh, that's a fun one. Okay, frame within a frame. Yeah, I quite like that. Unfortunately, the flip phone ran out of battery ending the live stream and I wasn't able to reconnect again with any of the other phones. When I tried, I'd get a message saying, could not connect to server. I'm actually working on a video covering all the ways you may be having connection issues for a setup like my one. I'll put a link for that video here somewhere when it's ready. But in the meantime, there's a whole playlist on IRL live streaming you might want to check out as well. Finally, how would you improve my IRL setup? I'd love to know. Thanks.